How's it going and welcome to No Fun Allowed and today I'm going over the player's guide to the Wild Beyond the Witch Light. This is a spoiler free thing so players come on down. I just want to talk about a few things that you should be aware of before stepping into this delightful adventure. First things first, don't bring the baggage. So when you're creating your character, don't create something super duper elaborate because quite frankly you're going to somewhere where your background may not matter. In addition to that, also pack light. This is a lighthearted adventure, so you don't need a min-max in regards of the tiny little items on that character sheet. You don't need to worry about all the super fantastic, amazing things that you can do. Because, quite frankly, what you can come up with as a player is going to be a lot more impactful than what your character's capabilities truly are. Two, you're not in Kansas anymore. You are going to go somewhere where you've never been before. And that's a good thing. This is an adventure about exploring a world that you've never explored before. This is an adventure about going beyond where you've gone previously. That's awesome. This is a great adventure to step outside of your boundaries and go to a fantastic place. And you're going to see things you've never seen before. You're going to do things you've never done before. Both as a character and most likely as a player as well, which is great. Three, what's the deal with combat? As I'm sure most of y'all have heard, there is the possibility that you can go through this adventure without doing combat. This is something you definitely need to talk to with your DM about if combat is on the table because that will truly dictate the sort of characters you're going to create. If the DM says that no, you guys are never going to get into combat, then maybe you're not going to take that fireball spell. But if your DM says, yeah, combat is definitely on the table, but it's up to you guys, then for sure you should have a little splash of some non-combat tricks and maybe some combat tricks. Four, take note of what's at hand. There is a lot of things going on. There is going to be a lot of named NPCs. There's going to be a lot of potential quests. There's going to be a lot of potential hearsay. And I do strongly suggest that you write down some notes. Whether that be the group doing it as a collective, you doing it from your own perspective, whatever the case may be. Having notes of what is going on is going to make your adventure run more smoothly, both from your character's perspective and the game perspective, because quite frankly, the DM has a lot going on with this adventure. So helping them with relaying all the information that you would know certainly goes a long way. And five, let's get wild. As I mentioned before, you are going to be doing things you've never done before. Roll with the punches. Do these things. Don't make these reluctant characters and don't be reluctant players. Embrace the wild side of this adventure. Embrace the chaotic crazy wackiness that you're about to jump in and just roll with it. I absolutely promise you that this adventure is going to be one that you remember for a long time, especially once you get involved in all the sort of crazy zany wackiness because those special interactions that you have with everyone at the table and the NPCs that you're interacting with, those things aren't something that is written in the book. Those are something that you are personally creating and no one else is getting because your group is going to be different from everybody else's. And that's an awesome thing. So get wild, roll with the punches, and have a great time. This adventure is absolutely fantastic. This adventure is so well done. And I promise you all, as players, this is going to be a wholly unique experience. So... Consult with your DM about what the character you're going to create is and get the ball rolling and just have a fun time. So go ahead and tell me down below what kind of characters you want to bring into this adventure, what your DM has already told you. I am genuinely curious about these things. So go ahead and tell me all of those things because I would love to hear it. But that's going to do it for me. Thank you for watching. Thanks for listening. And thank you to my amazing patrons. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you so very much. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next one.